Hello, I am the Jordan, your coach of the Virginia Vike Volts. Welcome to week three of the VBLS VGC Draft League. I got to do exactly one take because the match is right now. Um, I'm against Cobra, and Cobra's got a rain team, and it's full of broken mons. I know because I've used them before. Nothing beats Celesteela. Garchomp is really strong too. Uh, Politoed and Lud Ludicolo are pretty dangerous, and Raichu definitely got to worry about. Um, Cobra has no Trick Room, no Trick Room setter, so they're committed to fast mode. They're committed to going really fast, but we're gonna go even faster than them. We've got a Weavile with the fastest fake out around, um, Icy Wind for further speed control, and Snarl for damage reduction against this Rain Core. Um, Triple Axles is one really strong hit against the Garchomp, should be able to Oko it. And then Wide Lens to make sure that everything hits. All of these not fully accurate moves will hit with Wide Lens. Um, we have further speed control. Gotta go fast this week. Uh, Spirit Airlines, the Ladias, welcome. Um, got a Dragon Resist Berry to win that 1v1 against the Garchomp, is to be able to set Tailwind even if we face a Life Orb, Max Warm Wind from Garchomp. Um, we survive, and then we get to set Tailwind, and then we get to go again. We get to send one strong Dragon move right back at it. We can do further speed control with Icy Wind. These two are just here to make sure we go first, and there's even Electro Web on Gandalf, the Thunderous. Um, Thundee is a potential max option. Um, it's not terribly exciting because it's just running electric moves and then the one coverage that hits everything neutrally. Um, but it's a life orb and it's got full max attack, so it could be good in some cases. Um, I was originally having no Trick Room, no Trick Room option at all, and I realized that if Koba's really committed to fast mode, I need to have that option. So uh, Heatran went away for a Sash Gallade, um, which is going to set Trick Room for me probably once in the match. Um, if things go tough and I can't get the speed control against like the Prankster Tornadus, then I'll set my Trick Room and hopefully live at any one thing with Focus Sash. Poison and Ice, we've got all coverage moves here. Same with uh, Throw. Um, fighting moves do nothing, but I do need my fighting Pokemon. Uh, and setting, getting a burn on Garchomp would be really good. Um, poison Jab is really, really good coverage into Cobra's team. You know, it hits Ludicolo, it hits uh, all three of these down here, and then there's very little that resist it. So uh, Poison and Ice, it's got the same combination on Throw here. Throw's rocketing an Assault Vest. Throw's kind of a bad Pokemon, but it's not that bad, and that's the thing. Uh, I think it's it's a deal for the for the price I got it, and it's gonna be an unlikely going toe to toe against Celesteela. You, Celesteela hits it super effectively, but we've got Thunder Punch, uh, we got Max Lightning, and we have Mold Breaker, so we ignore Raichu's redirection of electric moves, and so we can hit. Celesteela reasonably hard. It's still kind of an uphill battle for us, even if we Dynamax, but uh, an almost even matchup against Celesteela is a win in my book. And if Celesteela is a special attacker, which it has been for Cobra, and they're gonna, Cobra's going to want a, grass, a special grass move to hit Gastrodon, then, then Throw can actually tank the hits with uh, Assault Fest. And then finally we have a stall Gastrodon to win some endgames uh, with Yawn and... Uh, you know, ground ice is a really great combination. Um, maybe I need physical defense. I think I'm, I've gone really special because there's this Politoed Ludicolo. Um, I think I haven't really done any calcs for this, but I think the physical defense might be. Uh, I think we're not going to live the Celesteela Giga Drain anyway, and so maybe we just try to win against uh, Garchomp. So that's the plan. See you in one or two minutes for the match. Oh man, okay, so <laughs> wasn't recording before, but we're in the match and we tried a hyper aggressive lead and it got through this weakness policy Celesteela, but we lost both of them in the process because it just is Celesteela. Um, question is, do we go for Politoed or Tornadus? I think we more reliably get a KO on Tornadus and dealing with Politoed in the long run is in our interest. But Max Quakes are really good against basically all three of these. I don't really expect any special attackers. So we we need to uh, we need to deal with the Tornadus because uh, it hits throw really hard. I mean we have a Assault Vest, so this is a tough decision here. So Raichu could come in for either of them. I don't know if if Cobra has realized that I can attack through Lightning Rod, but I still would rather not hit the Raichu because it resists it. Um, I want Yawn Pressure. 
Oh, but I can't get yawn pressure in electric terrain. What am I doing? Um, so we'll ice and we'll quake. That was a good strong hit. Okay, so we're not going first anymore. We're, we're slow, guys. So Hurricane did 47. So I could survive. They might target it again, but I can't just assume they target it again. So I survived due to the special defense boost, I think. We'll just get good damage. Come on, please get the KO throw. Thank you. Okay, so we have an assault vest throw. We do protect earthquake. Pretty good damage. Come on. Please don't randomly miss. Okay, so we survive off of a little bit of initial pressure and then throw being really tanky. Um, I don't want to reveal anything, anything extra. Okay, so Gastrodon is really effective for beating this Politoed. I think Garchomp comes next game. I beat the Celesteela though, it was very much not pretty, so I think Celesteela is coming back for game two. Yeah, so what happened was I faked out the Raichu with my faster fake out Weavile, I got an Electra Web through the, the Lightning Rod, um, but then also triggered Celesteela weakness policy. Um, and then Rock Slide almost KO'd both of them, and that's when I, Establish enough speed control to take the KO with a throw. All right, so I need the TR option. That's what I need. Latias is good, and it's going to be good into the Garchomp um, Dragon v Dragon. But Weavile, no, maybe it's Gl Throw Gallade. Can Celesteela really come again? Maybe it can because I think Keepy Dynamax is right away. He's in great shape. And then the, the Politoed is providing spread damage, so like the Focus Sash is really dangerous. I think I need the, 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 uh, the Weavile um, fake out to set up Trick Room, despite the fact that I'm so boned after Trick Room is set up because this guy's so fast. Um, well, I need the Trick Room option, so throw in the back. Astrodon. So we're just committing to maxing throw, because uh, Thunderous was our other option. Huh. What did I reveal? I just did, like, Fake Out Icy Wind, Electro Web. So this is a Trick Room setup here. This match might not work out, but I need to feel out if I can viably trick room. So this is when they max turn one with Celesteela. I sur I've survived with Focus Sash and then I trick room. And that would be good because that would be two turns without the weakness policy proc if it maxes right away because Raichu would be going second under trick room. And it's good to know that it rock slided turn one. It was a good move for them, but it did reveal physical Celesteela. Sash me, baby. Unless it has a surprise faint, then I'm going first here. So 
So we should probably assume full physical Celesteela if he wanted to max use a flying move. So no, no, no re reason to snarl. Get to Willow Wisp it. That's gonna be pretty good. Oh, please don't kill me. Okay, <laughs> we survive with the burn. Please get it. Please get it. Please get it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Oh wait, we're wide lens, so we're 99% accurate. <laughs> That's why. So everything is uh, is tenuous when you have triple axle. So, do we have no grass move if it's full physical Celesteela? I think we gotta get the damage on the Celesteela. Um, <laughs> Cobra's complaining about getting hit by triple axle where it's 99% accurate, so get over it. Um, <laughs> he's saying this three, it's matters. I've already said I'm wide lens. It's 99% accurate. Get over it. Um, so, another fake out sounds pretty decent. We have to protect <laughs> this Gastrodon. Um, So, what did he do? He rock falled. And I lost Gallade due to sand, so that was a smart move. Um, so I'm so dead. I'm so dead. But a switch in here is pretty good for me. No, I can't switch in my Dynamax mine. I have to just let... Weavile die. You've done your job, Weavile. Thank you for the service. I don't have a Rindo Berry, so uh, Ludicolo has just like pinned me here. I have Poison Jab. Yeah. Okay, so it's Physical Celesteela. I don't think it has a grass move, but I'm so dead to this grass move. Do we get it? I don't know if we do, I don't think we do. So we just lose Gastrodon and then Celesteela beats us. It's gonna fly? Celesteel is a really tough Pokemon. Why did I Earth Power should I ice, ice beamed? If I get to survive here, that was the wrong move. I'm, I got a cut lucky break there. Um, so can I end game with Gastrodon? Because I've got special attack boost now. Um, how do I feel about sand being up? I think I need to get my damage on the on the Celesteela while I can. So I don't want to set Electric Terrain because I want Yawns in the end game. Probably a good switch there. That's good damage now that I have boosts. tricky part of not, not wanting to set electric terrain. So Hailstorm is pretty reliable here. So I think I get the KO on Celesteela. I get the KO on both of them. Oh no, I'm not going first anymore! But I'm in different terrain at this point. Cobra Killer! Ugh. About to be the MVP against Cobra. So it has Hail. Um, I, it's still going first, but um, we'll Poison Jab it. Probably finish this off. 
guaranteed end game in case we can't. Wait, so ring, uh, Ice Beam did the original, it did nine. So this should do like 15 times two and a half. I think we get it. If we don't, I'd be very, oh my God, why did I not protect? Oh no, if I lose to that. I didn't, I don't know how much uh, damage Giga Drain would do. How much does Giga Drain do? Giga Drain do there. I'm curious if Giga Dream would have knocked me out. Um, I mean, I sh absolutely. Um, so if I just protect the Gastrodon, I'm alive. But so, can I protect the Gastrodon? Because if he could target, throw, with I have one less hail damage. Um, Okay, well, so we won. It was so, so uphill against Celesteela. Uh, I'm really lucky to have made the adjustment to Gallade. I had Heatran in part for Will-O-Wisp, in part for just like fast offense, because I was planning to overwhelm with Latias and Thundee. Didn't really end up getting to do that, but the, the last minute, um, The last minute introduction of Gallade, despite it being two fighting types against the Celesteela, meant I could set Trick Room with Sash. So the last minute bring saved me. Absolutely, like, I mean, I, I, I run an entirely different plan game two if I don't have that option, um, probably with Heatran. Uh, Cobra is trying to figure out what went wrong. Cobra's definitely trying to get better as a player, which is good. They're actively in a lot of leagues. I think they're pretty experienced already, uh, but, um, I like this analytical style, at least when it's not complaining. Um, yeah, so throw's survivability was great, its damage was not great, but anyway, I didn't I didn't have an offense boosting item. I could have given it a life orb. It's also got the guts variant, I'll run that someday. Uh, but throw, four points throw everybody. I, did it get four KOs, five KOs this time around? We'll have to see. Stay tuned everybody for the next match in a week. We're coming for you all. We are the theatrical villains of this season. Lightning strikes behind me wherever I walk. Mwah!